Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah. If you are new, thank you so much for clicking on this video. Thank you for being with me here today. We are going to be continuing our legacy challenge. As per usual, I am trying to wrap up this challenge so that we can uh, start working on some other challenges. I did make the mistake on this channel of having too many Let's Plays going at once and it kind of overwhelmed me. So I just like stopped filming them all together. But I think that focusing on one challenge at a time is really helping me stay consistent and remember everything that happened in the last episode because I was getting names confused, I was getting stories confused. So yeah, continuing Legacy, I really, really want to age up Sarah today. I'm probably going to play until her birthday rolls around. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll be seeing her teenage form. And once Sarah ages up into a teen, I do want to focus on Edison's like, love life a little bit. I don't know if he should just stay a single dad forever or if he should find someone in the end, but I kind of like the idea of him staying single, but at the same time you get points when you bring a spouse into the family. So I don't know. And now that Evangeline has maxed her career, I think it would be a good time to move her out as well. Uh, we made her a little bit happier than she was before. She is thriving in her career. She's a little bit famous now. So hopefully when we send her out into the world, she will be happy and able to take care of herself. I'm talking as if these are like I'm my actual children right now. <laughs> I don't have anything special to drink today. I just have water. I'm like trying to stay more hydrated. So that's what I got. I already had my coffee. <laughs> Very exciting. I don't know if I've told you guys this on YouTube yet, but I haven't had a Celsius in, pff, gosh, a couple months now. Maybe even th two months, three months, I'm not sure, two and a half months. <laughs> but after I fainted, which I've been telling you guys about recently, I um, have made some like major changes in my life. I kind of figured that maybe it was overconsumption of caffeine, um, not drinking enough water because I was just drinking Celsius's and I love Celsius's, don't get me wrong, I will always love them. I'm just kind of cutting back. Um, I'm taking a break right now, but I think if I, I've been very strict, but I think now if I want one, like here and there, I won't stop myself, but <laughs> I was drinking them every day, every other day, every stream, every video. So yeah, just energy drinks in general aren't great for you, even though Celsius is like more on like the healthier side compared to Red Bulls and compared to Monsters, but yeah, it's been nice though. It's been nice. I kind of like detoxed myself from caffeine for a while there. Um, and so my body is not as dependent on it anymore, which is always good. And I just love the taste of coffee, so I'll drink coffee whenever, but having 200 plus milligrams of caffeine a day was not doing me any favors so <laughs> so that's the stitch with that um anyway enough rambling about caffeine let's get into this episode i'm so excited i don't know if you guys have heard the news or watched any videos about the new pack that's coming out or the new packs and kits and all that jazz but apparently we're getting a romance themed expansion pack which Holy cannoli. How exciting is that? I don't know how they're gonna like make a whole expansion pack around romance, but I'm very, very excited to see what it's gonna be. I literally can't wait. I haven't been this excited about an expansion in so long. <laughs> um, but yeah, here we are back in the compost household. It is the second day of spring. Uh, it's nighttime right now, so uh, what's everyone up to? Edison is playing video games as always. Evangeline's cleaning. Ren is tending the garden, and Sarah is asleep. It's Monday. Sarah is still a C student. I'm not really sure why, um, but we should work on that a little bit. I did ask you guys what animal you think that we should get her, and it was like mixed, but. I think we should get her a horse. I think that would be quite fun. Raising a horse and like entering horse competitions, I haven't done any of that yet. I've owned a horse, but I haven't done any of like the competitions or any of that jazz. So I think that would be fun for her. So yeah, Evangeline has maxed her career. Have you maxed comedy yet? Okay, we should max video gaming and comedy before we move her out, just so we can get uh, credit for those, those skills. 
And with Edison for skills, we max cooking in the last one. We're working on video gaming and logic right now. And then for Ren, we were working on research and debate, but I'm pretty sure we did that already. We definitely did. So, uh, yeah, I'm not really sure what to do next, but we'll figure it out. Oh my gosh, look who's here. It's Kieran. What are you doing here, my boy? Nice to see you, though. Maybe Ren should come and say hi. My game has been acting really, like, slow and laggy recently. I'm not really sure why, but hoping this, uh, do you, don't you dare. Oh, yep, he's gonna wake her up. Oh my god, bro. Can't you see I was sleeping? Okay. Let's, uh, looks like we already did our homework, which is good. Also, one of you guys suggested that we add some more people to our treehouse club. Some of the kids that we met at, uh, on Easter. Jordan, uh, Dondre, and Leonard. Leonard. <laughs> Leonard, Leonard, I don't know. Tomato, tomato. She just has a club just full of boys. Um, also... For Sarah's aspiration, we need to ride a bike for four hours and achieve level six motor skill. Uh, so I need to buy her a bike. I wonder, can you teach kids how to ride? Like, can you like bike train them in this game? All right, it looks like we got a couple of options for bikes for kids. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. It looks like they're all from growing together. A noise making card, that's adorable. I wonder what the difference is between all of these. This one has a basket and a horn. That could be cute. Yeah, let's get this one and um, give it to her as a gift. I think we can put it in our inventory and gift it to her. I think that would be adorable. Put in inventory, yes we can. Also, I'm pretty sure the weeding glitch is back. So Sims will just constantly like weed, start weeding everything, which is really annoying. Um, but it is what it is, you know? It's literally 2.30 in the morning and we're about to gift her a bike. Maybe we should wait until the morning. <laughs> I don't want her to get all excited and like not sleep. So let's just do it in the morning. Let's change Edison's aspiration. Uh, Cause this one is like way too hard. Successfully advise and influence the lives of other Sims. It's like impossible to do on your own you have to wait for the opportunity opportunity to arise we should totally do friend of the world i think we can max that really easily um and then we get the beloved reward trait everyone remembers the beloved sim their relationships never fade let's snag that so we just need to introduce ourselves to 10 sims which should be easy because we own a bar so <laughs> we could like do that in one day all right, I'm gonna get Sarah up, get her ready for school. Why don't we just have cereal this morning? How are your skills coming along? She's max social, mental's pretty high. It's almost Sarah's birthday. Let's freaking go. I need to think about what we wanna do for her, for her birthday party. All right, Ren. Yep, you're gonna go to work today. Um, oh, we need to buy her some plasma packs. All right, Ren's off to work. Sarah is off to school. Go, baby girl. Have a good day. It's super gloomy today. Like, it still feels like it's nighttime. Are you eating your sh dude? That's disgusting. Oh my god, I don't think I've ever seen a pet do that before. Lecture about eating poop. Yeah, we don't want that. Please don't do that. Gross. Gross. This is literally Sir Edison's favorite place to nap. He is there all the time. Just snoozing away in this little box. <laughs> it's such a cat thing. Why are you meowing about poop? Oh, you broke the sink. Sick. All right, well, let us travel to our bar so that we can introduce ourselves to a bunch of new sims. Work on that aspiration a little bit. We haven't been to the bar in a minute. Maybe we should bring Evangeline with us. I think uh, cooping her up in the house uh, kind of contributed to her sad mood all the time because she does have the people person uh, lifestyle. So 
I need to include her in more things, at least for the time being, while she's still in the house. Oh wow, it's so nice over here. It's super hot in Newcrest, super gloomy in Willow Creek. Uh, let's just enthuse about a new show with her really quick. Sarah's teacher commends her for her honesty and gives her a one-time extension. Cool. That was a, one of those parenthood pop-ups. Uh, we're feeling a little hungry, so let's get a pretzel. Okay, and it looks like there's plenty of people that we can introduce ourselves to here as well. Chandler, Macaulay, Lauren, Chopra, and the bartender. We got an alien as well. It's so funny, like, we haven't seen aliens around in so long, but as soon as we go to 6am, they're, they just pop up everywhere. It's kind of funny. <laughs> All right, there's some more people that we can introduce ourselves to down here. We have four out of ten right now. Oh, we already know you. Dag dag. Dag dag. <sighs> Gerardo Bida. All right, five out of ten. We are making good progress. A Baluchi? Hold up. This is a Baluchi from my, uh, <laughs> my Bit Life Controls My Sims series. Oh man, good times. Oh no, Ratna doesn't have pants on. What happened to your pants, Ratna? Alright, 7 out of 10. We are almost there. Whoa, look at this girl. Oh my god, she's so cool. Who are you? Danny Davila? Um, you're awesome. You look... You're dressed proper. I've never... Is this a townie? I love her. She's so cool. No, she's leaving. All right, one more, one more, one more. All right, we did it. Meet someone new in three different locations. Oh. All right, three different locations. New crest, check. Maybe let's uh, go to Henford with Sarah. Let's gift her the bike. All right, Sarah, 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 I've got a gift for you. Oh, no, 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 no. Who? Bruce. Not Bruce! I guess he was next in line to pass away. Oh man, oh, poor guy. He was an elder. I think I think he had a, he didn't he didn't end up having any kids. I don't think. Let me see. Was he even married? So Luna's gone. Zoe and Bruce. Bruce was not married. No kids. Nothing. He focused on himself. He focused on his career. All right. Oh, she already knows what it is before she opened it. <laughs> Thanks, Dad! I love it! Ask Edison for help with bike riding? No way. I don't think I've ever done this before. Edison, aren't you supposed to help her? Or she's just- she's doing it on her own. Bro, help her! Get a drink? No! That is not why we're here. You got this, girl! I mean, maybe you don't got this. It's helping her motor. This is good. This is good. <laughs> it's 9.45 p.m. And we're just riding our bike in Henford on Bagley. I can't. Wait, what? What? I'm not even with him and he completed his aspiration. He's not only extremely popular, but a spectacular friend as well. Let's go. All right, let me log that real quick. So he has completed one, a childhood aspiration and three adult aspirations. Crazy. That was a really easy one, especially if you've already maxed charisma. So if you max charisma and you get the uh, incredibly friendly aspiration reward from the reward shop, and you unlock the polite introduction, the friend of the world aspiration is literally the easiest one that you could complete. I'm glad Edison has a lot of friends and I'm glad that he's well liked. He's just your local friendly single dad. <laughs> your local friendly bar owner single dad. Yeah, that's basically it. <laughs>
All right, so let's get him a new aspiration. Uh, so what else can we do? I don't really know what this wellness aspiration is. Like, I don't know how we do all of this, but um, this sim is on a quest to achieve inner peace. Although true harmony is sometimes ephem ephemeral, what's important is developing tools to mitigate negative emotions. I don't know if that makes, it has like, we have to max wellness or not, but I literally don't know what else to pick. We could do the curator. Mmm, serial romantic? Maybe I'll wait, I'll wait and see what you guys uh, think sh his next aspiration should be. Uh, yeah, cause I don't know. We could do serial romantic once Sarah ages up. Let's see, her birthday is in two days. Two days! I've got two days to complete this aspiration. Evangeline has a workaholic lifestyle and she earned a raise. Good for you. Oh, also, let's uh, let's have a look at these frogs. Now that I know how to breed them because we, uh, we bred them on my Twitch channel the other day. So, essentially, let me see here. For the frogs, what you want to do is breed like a dirt frog with a heart frog and then you get a dirt heart frog or something like that. I don't know. I think that's how you do it, but um, let me see here. So let's do the heart frogs, put that in there, and then we will do a striped leaf frog. So this should give us a striped heart frog. Okay, that did not work. Uh, that's dope. Um, <laughs> um okay. Let's try a dirt frog with a spotted eggplant frog. Wait, no. A hypno frog? No. A hypno frog with a sunflower frog. I don't know. We'll see if that works. Why did that give me a leaf frog? I don't understand. I thought I understood how to breed frogs, but apparently I don't. Let me pull it up here so that we know exactly what we need. We don't even have a lot of the common frogs which we need to actually do the breeding. I kind of know of an easy way to find frogs. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to... Let's travel with Ren. I think we'll have the most luck with her. So you're gonna travel to this little house right here in the like small lot neighborhood of Willow Creek. I'm sure a lot of you guys know about this, but I'm gonna I'm gonna show you anyways, just in case. All right, we're here at the house. So you're gonna come over here to this weird looking tree. Sorry, it's a little bit dark, but you're just gonna view it until you get a new option that pops up. Why are you having an emotional meltdown? And then water. Keep doing it until you have a new option. Compliment on leaves. Explore. So you follow the sound, go downstream, uh and then enter the mist those are the options that you're gonna want all right and then it brings you to this little secret world here it's beautiful for pictures it's beautiful for uh looking for collectibles and the reason why we're here right now is to look for frogs there's literally no cooldown for this which is nice so you can just like spam it yes. looks like we found one that we didn't have another one this is actually a pretty easy way to get money in Rags to Riches as well. Because even if you like aren't looking for like collectibles, you just like catch a bunch of frogs and you can sell them. Like we have all of these already. Alright, let's have a look at our collection now. So we just need one more common frog and then we can start breeding for the rarer ones. All right, she's off to work. All right, she's at work. Make sure she's working hard. Yep, are you studying hard? Study hard, my girl. That's probably why you're not getting better grades. I think I'm gonna get rid of her people person lifestyle because it's kind of getting ridiculous like how sad she is all the time from it. Uh, I think that we can do it on the phone, actually. Go to lifestyle coaching, it's 200 bucks. Also, everyone's pretty sad about Bruce as well. They barely knew him, but... Okay, it didn't say which lifestyle we are doing, though. Does she only have the one? Is that why? Oh, she's got three. Hmm. 
I don't know what going to this lifestyle coaching is going to do, if it's just going to get rid of one. I guess we'll, we'll see. It looks like Sarah's a B student now. That's amazing. Welcome home, honey. All right, I'm going to get her to practice riding her bike for her aspiration. She's got to do this for four hours. Dude, are you serious right now? <laughs> I can't. I can't. She literally just got the cheerful trait in the last episode when I thought she was going to get gloomy. And now the game is like, oh, wait a minute. No, I think we did this wrong. <laughs> ah. I don't know. I love the gloomy trait, but she's always like, <coughs> I don't know. One of you guys made a comment on the last video that she is like very Robin Williams, like super funny comedian, but actually super depressed inside. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna say yes. Fine. Fine, fine, fine. And Ren got promoted. Let's go. And now she's crying in her bed. How did we already get ride bike for four hours? That's weird. It hasn't even been four. Why are you riding it in the house? Oh, geez. All right. One more motor motor skill level. And uh, I think her aspiration will be done. Okay. Also, red is back. So uh, let's have a look at these frogs one more time. The one that we need is a striped dirt frog. So we're gonna breed this dirt frog with, with the striped eggplant frog. I don't understand why it's not working. Teddy is calling Evangeline. What? This doesn't make any sense at all. I found a ring in Edison's bag. Why are you going through Edison's stuff first of all? I think he's going to propose to me. I don't know what to do. What should I say? Yes, no? Is this her erratic trait coming out? Is this her trying to... I don't know. Contact us in some way for some reason? I'm gonna say don't do it. I'm not gonna give in. You think so? I wasn't sure, but you're right. I guess it just, it just wasn't written in the stars. Yeah. Uh, anyway. <laughs> mm -hmm. Back to my frog breeding. All right, Sarah, how's that skill coming? It's getting there. You're getting there. I wasn't able to breed any new frogs, by the way. I don't understand because I'm following a guide and I just keep getting leaf frogs. I don't know if my frog breeding is broken, but I'm getting real mad. Getting real mad, guys. I need her to max this before her birthday. Or max her aspiration, I mean, before her birthday. Come on, Sarah, you got this. It's basically full. Honestly, aspirations are not that hard to complete when you really focus on them. All right, she did it. Uh, she has just achieved her childhood dream of being the coolest kid on the playground. Trait earned, pack animal, a faster relationship and skill gain when training with friends? Training with friends, what does that mean? I really don't understand why she's doing this in the house. I. Whatever. <laughs> Should not be allowed. Oh, yeah, this is so yeah, cute, yeah. guys. Yeah, squamish. Yes. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Alright, I gave her a vacation day from school so that we can celebrate her birthday today. Why are you flirty? Oh, he was flirting for a second. No, he's sad again. Prepping for romance from anticipating romantic holiday. Is it love day? Oh, it's love day tomorrow. <gasps> Ooh. So Sarah will age up into a teen and then we got love day. Hmm. That should be fun. Let's get some rest and prepare. Uh, Ren, let's go ahead and take PTO today so that we can celebrate. Let's see what we have on the gallery for uh, like a kid's birthday party. Maybe we could find like a really cute park with balloons and stuff. She can invite all her club friends. It looks like it's a really nice day today. So let's see. I'm gonna search kid's birthday. The lot's most popular. Kid's birthday party park. 
Whoa, that's really pink. Um, what's this? I want something with like a bunch of balloons. Ooh, this looks cool. This is a 40 by 20. Where can we place this? Ooh, 18 Celebration Way in San Sequoia. Yeah, let's do that there. We've been spending a lot of time in San Sequoia and I literally never come here. <laughs> All right, sick. It is placed. Okay, I'm gonna get him to plan it. We should invite Teddy. It's literally her daughter. And I invited as many family members as I could see. 8 a.m. right now, let's have it at noon. All right, we're ready. Uh, he's feeling so sad. Do you have any potions in here that I can get rid of? Here we go. Happy Celebu Serum. Let's drink that and see if that helps. Oh my god, how cute is that? Okay, it just made him very sad. That is so annoying, you guys. It didn't help at all. Maybe I should just do a moodlet solver instead. I think that'll help. Oh, there we go. There we go. It went away. Okay, wait, don't drink it. Don't drink it. No, don't waste it! Oh, there he goes. Okay, that's fine. It's all good. We have so many. Okay, he's got a little pep in his step now, thank goodness. Uh, I think Sarah's birthday gift, we're gonna get her a horse. So, we don't have to wrap anything. Super cell, super cell, all of these planty plants. All right, Sarah, why aren't you sleeping for real, my girl, please? I hate it when they do that, when they just nap doesn't do anything for you. Let me get up, go ahead and take a bath. Edison's just running around doing chores, feeling all flirty. What's up, Wilson? William? <laughs> How are you doing? Yes, yes, come in, come in. Oh, we should probably bake a cake before I forget. Uh, what kind of cake? I think a, uh, a monster cake. Oh shoot, no, it's about to start. No. You like pessimistic sims? Yes, I think that makes sense. Shoot, we might have to buy a cake box. All right, let's start. I was too late, but it's okay. I have this mod where it's a cake box where you can like spawn a cake. So we'll just do, we'll just do that. I wonder if you can order a cake for delivery. That would be clutch, especially if you can't use mods. With the Zoomers delivery service, like, if you can get a cake in a pinch. It's raining. Uh, yeah, no, that's not happening. That is not happening. Oh, there's already a cake here, but it's half eaten. Oh, it looks like there's a <laughs> kitchen. <laughs> so we can totally cook a cake here. All right, sick. Uh, that's funny. There's so many cakes sitting around. All right. Let's get Sarah to start a club gathering as well, so her friends show up. Oh, there's also a cupcake machine. How cute! Let's make some strawberry fizzy cupcakes. Nice outfit, Ren, by the way. Hey! Why are you doing that? Oh, I invited Socho, by the way. Uh, you, you look beautiful. That's a nice outfit you have on. We got my Nami, who's one of Bellamy's baby mamas. We got Caleb. What? What just happened? Oh my god. Edison just flirted with Caleb. But why? Do you think he's cute? Huh. That's interesting. I guess everyone thinks Caleb's cute. Guess I'm not surprised. His hair's broken, by the way. Oh, there's Teddy. Just staring at us from across the way. Oh my gosh. What are you gonna do? Literally, what are you gonna do? Dag! Alright, nice cake. Absolutely beautiful. She walked up to talk to us and he just walked away. Oh my god. What are you going to do? This is a really cute lot for a birthday. 
Aw, Avery, don't cry. Let me fix that for you. Looking beautiful as always, Tony. Hey, Mom. We finally met a girl. Avery. You're not family, are you? Kalani. Mm, I'm not sure. Uh, it doesn't look like we're related. What is that? Well memed, my friend, from Crim Cringe Sim memeing it up. Wow, he likes Cringe Sims. Look at Wilson over here, looking super dapper in his cowboy hat. And Ren over here. Oh my gosh. She's such a ham. She loves the attention. Cupcakes for everyone. They look amazing. I want birthday presents! Here's some more girly pops that we can introduce ourselves to. What is happening? This is awkward. Someone we have romance with hanging out with our ex? There's so many cupcakes everywhere too. Where do they all come from? Ren, are you being- are you- Oh, and yeah. Uh -huh. This is actually a really cute party. All we need is some mimosas or something for the <laughs> for the adults. <gasps> Manami just flirted with Zochil. Bro, why is everyone flirting with each other? Is free love on? I need to check that when I get home. I swear it's not though. That's too risky to have in this let's play. <laughs> Noxious cloud ass due date? Ren, you're brutal! Oh god, and Teddy is proper, so I bet she absolutely hates that. Bellamy, are you gonna speak to Minami? I still don't know why you guys broke up. You were literally the cutest couple ever. Is it these cupcakes that's making everyone flirty? Oh shoot, guys, it's 9.20 p.m. Okay, we need to we need to blow out these candles. And age her up! I can't wait, I can't wait! I can't wait to see what her second trait is. Hang on, let me remind myself of Tony's traits really quick. Or Teddy, I mean. Music lover, proper, and dance machine. And then Edison is creative, genius. Wait, which, what were his core traits? Creative, geek, and genius. Yes, perfectionist, squeamish, insider, squeamish, and insider were uh, bonus traits. All right. Okay, let's age her up. Happy birthday, my love. Sorry I waited so long to age you up until it was freaking dark, but, uh, you know how it is. Happy birthday! Oh, long. I'm so nervous. Okay, it looks like she got high self-esteem, which is good. All right, let me pop on over to the, the Legacy Trait website. All right, trait one for parent. We've got geek, we've got creative, and we've got genius. And then for Teddy, we've got dance machine, music lover, and proper. I really hope Sarah doesn't get proper. Like, please. She's got creative right now. All right, guys, are we ready? Are we ready to see her second trait? Here we go. <gasps> okay, so Dance Machine is her second trait, which honestly is kind of boring. Uh, teen Aspiration, Drama Llama, Adult Aspiration, Popularity, Leader of the Pack. Alright. 
drama llama, huh? Interesting. Maybe we should get her a llama. Dance machine. These sims can't wait to get down, boogie, and party all night. When at venues like bars, nightclubs, and lounges, these sims can get a burst of energy with party time interaction. Dance machines also receive a happy mood that when arriving at social venues. Okay, maybe that does make sense because her dad owns a bar. And she really likes going there. Alright. Uh, teen, we're gonna do... Drama Llama. This sim wants drama all the time. Did not get that vibe from her at all, but... Okay. Alright, let's go into cast and have a look at her. This is what at the moment I've been waiting for. I can already see a lot of Zoe in her. <laughs> Okay. Holy sheesh. She is so pretty. She looks a lot like her mom. Like, a lot. A lot, a lot. Wow. She's got the same nose. She's got the same lips. Absolutely beautiful. So, yeah, I think she's just gonna have brown hair. Creative and dance machine. So... What was Dance Machine again? She likes like going and going out and partying at clubs and stuff. They like to party all night. Uh, happy Moolah when arriving at social venues. Okay, and creative. So we can kind of go a little crazy with her, with her style. Like, look at how gorgeous this hair is. I love it. It's so cute. And it looks like we can put like little charms in it. Oh, they're seashells. I see. Oh my gosh, look at that. We put little flowers. Stop, that's so cute. I love this outfit. I think I'm gonna go for this for her every day. Uh, I do want her to keep wearing the boots. I think it's super cute. I love this hair. She just looks really good in like a neutral color palette. Uh, and since we can see her ears, we should definitely give her... Actually, do we want to give her this hair color? We can really go with any shade of brown. Mm. This is what she had when she was little. It's kind of like an ashy brown, or we can go for like an auburn or dark brown. They all look good, but this is more close to Teddy's hair color. I think I'm gonna keep this one. I do want to give her her boots for athletic wear, but uh -huh. if she's doing anything other than riding a horse, she's gonna look kind of mm. ridiculous. <laughs> like running in those boots so maybe i should just give her regular uh regular active clothes ah she looks so cute guys i'm obsessed with her all right guys oh my gosh that took forever <laughs> um i finished her outfit so here's her every day whoa that was some oh. gnarly thunder holy crap Okay, uh, formal wear, active wear, sleep wear, party wear, swim, hot weather, so cute. It looks like her legs are super, super long. <laughs> and cold weather. I think I want to give her one more everyday outfit. Oh, I can hear my dog woofing at the thunder. Poor baby. I mean, these pants are kind of cool. Max, it's okay, it's just thunder, bud. I really like this outfit, but the pants, the pants, the graphics of the pants don't match. But I'm kinda, I really like it. I don't really mind, to be honest. <laughs> and then uh, let's give her one more athletic wear that is more um, like, you know, taking care of the animals working in the garden kind of vibe just an excuse to use the bandana to be honest i really like this shirt we can use it again and then uh the bandana is do, 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 do. where is it there it is it's under necklaces oh she looks so cute maybe some different pants though or shorts. These boots from Cottage Living are kind of sick. 
But, uh... Yeah, I think cowboy boots are the winner again. Okay, cute. I love it. She's so beautiful, guys! I hope that you love her as much as I do. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. I think I'm gonna leave this part right here. My dog is scared of thunder and there's a thunderstorm that's just starting. So I gotta go comfort him, give him some love. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it as much as I did. Leave me comments, tell me what you think, and I will see you in the next one. Love you, bye!